Hello and welcome to this short video showcasing the Part 12 Dense Gouge and Dent Gouge Combination feature available in the Inspect software. Today I'm going to run through how we set up a dent or a gouge or a combination and run a report on a piece of equipment. So as you can see in front of you I have this pipe run here. Very easily, easy to model and if I zoom in here I have a dent located on the piece of pipe right here. Now in Inspect, all you would do is once the equipment is modeled or the component that you want to look at is modeled, you simply go up to the API 579 menu and you select the Part 12 Dent Gouges and Dent Gouge Combinations options from the menu. Now I've already gone ahead and modeled this, so I'm going to open it. Now there's two ways we can open it here. We can zoom in and you can right click and select the flaw. Or what you can do is use the component tree over here on the right hand side. And I'll just double click on that and the dialog will pop up. And this is what you would see when you add a flaw. And you can add as many of these flaws as you want to your equipment as well. So you're not just limited to one file for one flaw. You can put many flaws on here if you have them. Now let's just step through the dialog quickly. So the first thing you're going to see is the identifier. We just default to the part 12 flaw number one, but you can change this to anything you like. And then you have an option to specify a GPS location. Now, if you're looking at a, a plant and you've got a long pipe run, you can specify where this flaw is in case you want to come back at a later time to reassess it, or if you notice it on the way back in, things like that. Then what you'll need to do is specify what damage type you want to look at. Now, we have the option for both a, a dent, a gouge, as well as a dent-gouge combination. And then we can look at both a level 1 and level 2 assessment for the part 12. Then you just very easily set up the flaw location. You select where it's located and fill out the appropriate information. And then whenever you're doing a 579 assessment, we need to know the loss and the future corrosion allowance. And there's also an option for mechanical allowance in here as well. Now down at the bottom, there is an option to perform a part three brutal fracture assessment. Now again, every time I do a video, I always say this is a this is one of my favorite things to run. I always like running them, so even if you, you've proven that there's sufficient material toughness, I always like to run the Part 3 Brittle Fracture Assessment, simply because it's based on the rules of ASME Section 8, Division 1, UCS 66. So, Inspect will run both Level 1 and 2 assessments for your Part 3 Brittle Fracture Assessment. So, I'll just click Next here, and then we go to the second dialog, and this is where we'll enter in the information for the dent as well as the gouge. You've got things like your... Uh, the depth and the pressurized condition, the unpressurized condition, the radius at the base of the dent. And if you come down to the bottom here, you'll see a sketch of the dimensions that we're asking you for. There's also an option to uh, put in the cyclic service, so you can do that as well. And things like the flaw images, so you can take a picture and upload that into the report as well. So once this information is in, you simply click OK. And that dent, or in this case, our dent gouge combination will be modeled on the piece of equipment. So from here, what we're going to do is run the calculation. So I'm going to simply come up here and click on the F3 button. And the report is run. So you'll get a nice professional report when you model this and inspect. So you'll th see things over here, such as your component reports for everything. And then you'll see the part 12 flaw report right here. And we can go through this. So everything is laid out for you, like so. You'll see a result summary, which is really nice. So if anything's unacceptable, you can click on the hyperlink, and it will take you to that specific report. And again, for the Part 3 Brutal Fracture Assessment, it's right here. And all of the calculations that we do are detailed out. So you can see the formulas that we use, as well as the values that we use to obtain the result. So you can go through this yourself and verify that everything looks good to you. Once you're done, simply click on the HTML icon right here and you're back at the model and you can flip to another model or you can you know, look at this piece of equipment further. Now this would apply to also vessels as well um, in addition to piping as well. Now I hope you found this video useful. If you'd like to see a detailed demonstration, please email sales at coder.com or give us a call at 941-927-2670.